what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate and send one time password using csap.net first of all let's understand what is OTP in simple word OTP is a unique code either alphanumeric means the combination of letters and number or numeric means only number send directly to the user phone number as a message while they try to log in or sign up with an application in case of login the OTP is used to verify whether the user who try to access an account is the right person or someone else try to access their account so when he or she try to log in a piece of code is sent to the user phone number that they set in their profile in this way someone else could not access to the user account now in case of sign off the OTP is sent to verify whether the user is real one in the sense that in general every user have only one phone so one user can have only one account in an application or the one who try to sign up is fraud one so being a developer you have to do it using programming and I thought I should make one video about it so most of the student will learn and integrate it in their project now to send OTP SMS using programming we need to choose SMS gateway provider our application send a message to the SMS gateway and they forward that message to the telecommunication of the number that is entered by user so SMS gateway act as interface between application and telecommunication now without any explanation let's move into the, the practical session first of all we are going to choose any SMS gateway provider there are a number of SMS gateway provider like Verizon AT&T but we are going to use TXT local is our SMS gateway provider so the first step is to create an account in TXT local so open up your browser and then go to txtlocal.co.uk and enter and then click on sign up scroll down and your provider name email and click on sign up sign up successfully and uh, txt local will send one verification email in your email inbox so check your email inbox there you go and click that link now you need to provide some of your information and set your default sender name and then click accept and then click on active my account now go to setting and click on api key we need to generate on api key click on create and then set new key now again go to txtlocal.co.uk and then click on integration and click on SMS API now go to API documentation click that API documentation and then here click on send SMS again click on send SMS and from here you need to choose C sharp and click that get you can either use post method or git method now open up visual studio go to file click on new and then click on project select visual sub window form application and give the name of your project and then click ok now expand this form you can change the form name form text from here 
now drag three levels and three text box and drop over your form now it says the property of its control so select its control and from the property our goods name we need to ask the user to enter the name and here goes phone number and here goes verify OTP and you can uh, increase the font size of each control from font property expand that font property and font size so in this way you can increase all of these control font size now select this text box and change the name of this text box TX, txt dam here goes txt phone and here goes txt now drag to button now says the button name it's good practice to give the name of his control while you are doing a project now it says the text of this button verify and here goes login i am uh, doing this project as a login but you can also uh, use this otp method uh, in sign up now double click that login button and go back to that api documentation and from here copy that code control c Ergo's control B and we need to modify a little bit of that code. So here goes your API key. Uh, copy that recently generated API key and paste over here and here goes the number. We need to take the input from the user. So txt phone dot text. and your sender name you need to enter your sender name like uh, we said while we are signing up with react local and we need to take the name of the user so string name is equal to txt name dot text now we need to generate a random number in C sub there are two type of random number that is pseudo random number and secure random number but we are going to use a pseudo random number so this random class help us to generate a random number now uh, let me define on global variable inside this class now random number is equal to i am going to generate a uh, random number and store that value in this variable so we have random dot next function over here and minimum value and then maximum value now we need to convert it into a string so to a string 
now we need to modify this message also so let me cut this from here and here paste it below this random number and here hey your goods name and then your otp is and concatenate string sorry concatenate and here goes random number now it's scroll down we need to display the message to the user so this is a window form application so message box dot show like ex x and here we need to display the message to the user uh, if this successfully sent so message dot show otp send successfully now go back to that uh, api key documentation and copy this namespace and paste at the top of your project that's it and go back to design if you want to change the color of this button here you can find back color like this one and then like this one let me run this project first when we click in this login uh, button the random number is generated and sent to the user phone number and then the user need to enter that uh, receive number random number or otp message in this box they click this verify button uh, we need to check whether the user enter the receive otp message or other number so for this we need to write the logic so double click over here if txt verify dot text is equal to random number what you need to do is we need to display the message to the user that logged in successfully or else what we need to do we need to display the message to the user message box dot show wrong otp that's it now start your run your project and enter the name and enter phone number with your country code and click on login otp sent successfully now let's check whether the otp is received in my phone or not there you go that is one message received in my phone let's open it takes up your otp is that's one now enter that otp in this verify otp text box and then click on verify login successfully now if you enter other than this otp you will get uh, error message over here wrong otp so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this 
useful tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon near that subscribe button and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye